hydrogen vehicle drivers have a lot to smile about. Instead of exhaust fumes, the only emission is water vapor, and that's pretty much the only change for the driver, including the way you fill up. Fuel costs, comparable to gasoline. Range, similar to a combustion engine. Fueling process, still with a classic fuel pump. Time needed for fueling, just like before. The hydrogen filling station itself is a high-tech facility, starting with the storage. The gas awaits customers in racks of cylinders or an above-ground fuel storage tank. Hydrogen is very amenable to compression, so there's space here to fully fuel around 60 vehicles. In order to get a similar amount of energy into a hydrogen vehicle as with gasoline or diesel, the fueling process requires much higher pressure than is needed for storage. This is why hydrogen filling stations have compressors to reduce the volume of the hydrogen by an additional 94%. The highly compressed fuel undergoes minimal expansion during the fueling process at the pump. And when hydrogen expands, it warms up. To ensure that temperatures don't rise too much when refueling, the hydrogen is cooled to minus 40 degrees Celsius before it reaches the nozzle. The fueling process is monitored electronically. If all of the measurements are normal, a full tank takes around three minutes. 700 bar pressure in the tank means the end of the process. The hydrogen then has an effective volume of 55 cubic meters, equivalent to around 250 full bathtubs. There's loads of energy contained here, and yet a hydrogen tank is no more dangerous than a battery or a gasoline tank. If a fault is detected, the fuel is released in a controlled manner. If the highly resilient container is damaged, then the fuel dissipates immediately. Hydrogen is 13 times lighter than air, therefore it rises rapidly and mixes with the air where it is completely harmless.